Hey guys, it's Tom Shu here and today we're going to be doing some editing on an audio track. What if I told you you could edit your audio in a similar way as editing a photo in Photoshop or Lightroom? That's right. Let's listen here. When I play this track, maybe someone's phone You're going to hear a phone ringing. And now you have a ruined in the audio background, track, correct? Okay, you, know, you can have. So I'm going to fix that, and I'm going to do so with the, the same type of skills you would use in Photoshop. Silence. Let me show you what I mean. If you right-click on the file, which is a WAV file, and open with Adobe Audition, okay, up will pop this box. Let me hide that real quick. Okay, so here we have Adobe Audition, and here's our file, okay. And if we push play here, you can see we've got a phone in there. Unwanted audio can really drive you nuts. For example, if somebody gets a phone call on set while you're doing a video. Okay, so do you, do? you might be getting a little feedback from my speaker playing into the microphone and the system audio. So I'm sorry about that. Just please bear with it. So you have this audio with this cell phone ringing in it. And... I told you you could get rid of it in the same way as you would in Photoshop with like a, a healing brush or a selection with a marquee or a lasso tool. And, and I wasn't kidding. If you click right here, you'll get this. It's called a spectral frequency display. and Or you hit this little button down here and it'll give you that same display. And it gives you a visual representation of what's inside that wave file. This is called a waveform up here. And if we come over here and we play this you can see that there's a ringtone so how are we going to get rid of this ringtone well let me show you if you come up here you can see we have a marquee selection tool okay you can select something like in Photoshop you can lasso something to deselect something it's control D or command D on a Mac you can lasso something okay so I can lasso those tracks. Now what happens when I lasso that track, it will play exactly what's inside of that track if I push the space bar. So it tells you what your selection is. So that's that ringtone. Now I can hit the delete key, okay? And if I come back over here, you'll see that that phone is gone, okay? Let me undo. That's Control Z or Command Z on a Mac to undo. Another way to do it is once you make that selection, okay, you've got this little uh, dB meter here. It stands for decibel meter. You can take and you can slide down or turn down the volume, basically. We'll go like 20 dB or so to that. And then when we play back that, you can see that it's really turned down. Let me uh, control D to deselect. And you can see that there it's turned down. Let me undo that. Okay, control D to deselect. Now, what are you going to do when it's over here inside this file? Okay, so if you push play, you'll be able to hear Unwanted audio that, can really that drive you nuts. ringtone is playing inside the dialogue. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and use this paintbrush to make a selection. Okay, and I can just paint right there, and then I can just turn down the amount of volume there is in that particular area but it does so without it you know uh, destroying all the dialogue so if we go 20 db there okay and we come down here and we paint 20 db and just drag it down 20 db and we paint right here and we drag down 20 db okay i can already see when i deselect there's going to be some ringtone left in there. Let me move this guy out of the way a little bit here. And the reason why I can see it is because this line right here is still red. You see that? So I'll just play this. Unwanted audio. And you'll really see that there's some nuts. ringtone left in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and select this again right there where that ringtone was. And I'm going to drag this down. Maybe 60 dB, which is a ridiculous amount. Control D to deselect. And now you can Unwanted see that it's completely really gone. Really but the nuts. voice isn't. The voice is intact. That's one way you can do it. 
Also, when you're using this brush tool, okay, you can control the size right here, or you can use the bracket keys to make your brush bigger or smaller. And the opacity, if you drag this down, it kind of makes a selection that is like a feathered selection in Photoshop. So let me just make a selection real quick there. Okay. And we're going to say delete, for example. It will deselect it and see that it left some of that behind instead of getting rid of all of it. When the opacity is turned all the way up, for example, let's do this. To 50 and I select this particular area and I hit delete it's gonna black it out it's gonna be gone okay so depending on what you want underneath of the track you would use the appropriate selection whether it would be a lasso tool or a marquee tool so so for example if we come over here and we push while you're doing play, the video you see that ringtone is do? there okay and I can get rid of it really quickly if I just grab this bar and go all the way down that track and hit delete and come over here and hit delete and come over here and hit delete. Okay, now I've deleted the actual voice that's in the track as well. This isn't really the preferred method. However, it does work on set while you're doing a video. What do you do? So there's no ringtone. Let's undo that so you can hear the before, okay? While you're doing a video, what do you do? So, that's it. If you can manipulate files inside Photoshop, you can clean up your audio and get rid of unwanted noise in Audition. One of the great benefits of working with Audition is if you are working in Premiere Pro, for example, you have an audio track and a video track. If you go to the edit menu on your audio track and say export, it will export just the audio track over here into Audition. It'll, you can do all your cleanup work, and when you hit File Save, it sends it right back into Audition, or I'm sorry, into Premiere Pro with your video file. Everything's still in sync, and your project is intact. So it's kind of like a workflow for your audio piece inside your video editing of Premiere Pro. So that's it. I want to thank you all for taking time to visit today. Until next time, we'll see you soon.